Hello guys, Kelly from Kells Aquariums, just as it's starting to bloody rain. I'm just about to dismantle this. Um, you can go to a couple of boards off, but it started raining last time I started. No, oh, just starting, I don't see it started in the floor. But that's basically what I'm replacing this big one with. It goes, still goes through the pressure filler, but it's going to come up into that. I'm just building, well, them boards there are going to get, you know, the, the, the two bits of decking are going to get replaced with these nice big boards. So they're just uh, solid, because just here, look, I've got a bit of, you know, a bit of movement in the wood there. So if I have one piece on, at least it'll just be one big piece and it won't come apart. Bloody hell. Um, but yeah, that's my new uh, sort of shower. I keep calling it a backy, but it isn't a backy one, and it isn't having backy media in it. I suppose they are. People refer to them as backy showers, so I will, but it's just a shower filter. This one is from Evolve, so I'll uh, tell you how it goes. I've had it running, that's why. Oh, God, Jesus, I could have stared at that. <laughs> but I give my brother, because he's just done his pond, all my O's tails. Didn't have any when I came to doing that and I thought I had loads, I'd give him them all. So basically I built that just to test the bigger pump that I've got. I've got a 15,000 litre an hour pump to go on it. But basically I'm just, that that's going to be a box. Obviously it's going to be cut off at the corner. And uh, so that when you're actually looking at it, obviously it's going to be at that end. It's going to be this corner here. But I can pretty much build everything here and, you know, I've been checking heights of the, you know, the falls and stuff. And basically just getting stuff together so that's basically what it is i'm gonna have this at the back i will have a gap so i can still get down there i'm gonna board when when it's in i'm gonna board that out and my air pump's gonna sit on there in a box you know in its own box covered um and maybe even the electrics might go in that if it's if i do want the full sort of thing move the electrics off that back wall which is under there and you can see in this little wooden box and put all the electrics in here as well. Well, not in that box, that's going to be a separate box and there'll be a, another box at the back. But basically I'm just going through a bit of pipe work, getting the, the levels and the uh, lengths right, just marking off where I'm going to cut away things and I'll just checking if the actual pipe work would go through without any bother and it will, so... But yeah, I'm sure there'll be some bother. But yeah, that's basically what's happening. So I'm going to go back inside now because as soon as you start filming or trying to do anything, it rains here, so... <laughs> but yeah, so the overall gist will be that gone, so you'll, the garden will look bigger at this point. But just a corner of the pond will be sort of like that with a, a shower on. I'm going to have the pump at the opposite corner, so it'll pump that way and it'll pump in from that way. And uh, we'll see what happens. But it'd probably be alright. So, yeah, catch you in a bit. Hi right, guys, Kelly here again. So, I'm on with stuff as you can see. There's there's wood, there's base, there's stuff. But I'm about to replace my pump. So, I've just took the uh, fitting off the Oasi Traduct and I am going to fit this pump. It's going to be on slightly bigger pipes. So I've had to take that off so I can saw the hose tail to the right thing. So this is a Jabout Eco 15,000. So it's 15,000 litres an hour, allegedly, but that's at zero at eight. Probably be about eight in reality, because you lose so much. Um, got this pump because one, it's quite a powerful pump, very cheaply priced in comparison with others like this. So it's got a secondary nozzle, so you can like run a skimmer off it if you want, you know, one of the, uh, you know, piped up to like an Oasi skimmer, you know, where there's just a pipe going up from the bottom. Or you can just close it off, or have a bit of uh, extra flow coming through, because you've got, as you can see, that little switchy thing there. There we are. Well, it either closes that on or keeps it off. And it's got a controller. So it's got 100 settings. So different power levels, it goes from like 30 watts to 135 watts this one. I've got a little one of the black gun plugs on so it can just plug straight in and out of my system. And I just thought I'd give you a real quick look before I go and bang it in. Right guys, so I'm on with this box. As you can see there's my shower filter 
in there. Uh, basically, I'm going to clad it, so I'm building like a frame. I'm going to put the top on it, so it'll be an extra inch area. But just bear with me one second. Sorry about this. Never ready. You know, like uh, just let me do that. So there'll be like a lip around the full thing. Um, so I'll get the lid on and off, all that sort of stuff. I'm going to have left enough space there that the thing can come out. This panel, what goes here when it is cladded, is going to be on magnets. So that one will pull out. You'll be able to pull that one out. And going around the side, there's the plumbing. So it'll pump up into there. And that, well, sorry, I'm a bit thinking for room because I'm building it. I should probably show you it better when it's done. But yeah, look, there's going to be a pipe just coming out the back side, which is the side you can't see. And there's going to be another elbow there going to the uh, pressure filter. But yeah, what I've done, it just, it's easier to show you this side. I've actually got room. So I've just made a base on it and cut it, done it at a bit of an angle so it fits the pond a bit better. And it should look alright when it's done. That bit of wood's bent as all bog. <laughs> but once I get the lid on, it'll straighten it back out because look, it just needs a bit of that. <laughs> Oh look, there's a really good, I've actually got one spare so I might replace that one because it's a bit off. But yeah, and then as I say, across the front, I'll be cladding all the way across. So you only just see just the lip where the water comes out. Obviously I'll put a lid on it so that I can just, oh, I've put that in a real bad place. So I can just, oh, just tools it all over. So I'll be able to just lift that up and get at it. There'll be another, there'll be another lid on the top of that anyway, a wooden one. And clad in the same stuff, but yeah, oh, just look at this mess. Got my hell at the minute, <laughs> but yeah, it's nearly done. And the pond is going well. I've got a cup of tea, so it's had a big water change because I'm about to rip that filter down. And because I don't know how quickly I'll be able to get all these cut to size and on the top and it cleaned up because there's a bit of muck where you know stuff has been over the years, I need to clean the filter media. All the bags of alpha grog and everything will be thrown in the pond next to the pump. So what's still going over them, it's only the same as that. That's just a submersible, it's just a bit cleaner. But they're all in sacks, so when they go into the thing, they'll come out the sacks, all be cleaned and put in. Clean with a bit of pond water, it'll be good. I mean, the water's a bit murky, because when I pulled my uh, pump out, all the muck came out as I dragged it all the way up there. I was livid, that's why it's having a big water change. But yeah. It's going well. And the pump is over there. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Let's see if there's an extra, I don't know if you can or not, there's an extra controller on that wooden box up there. So, anyway, we'll have a look at all that in a bit. But it's all going well. Up to now, jinx. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Right, guys. So, I've got the lids off the uh, tops off that was a nightmare because that side all the screws just won't come out that there was all like rotten and rounded when I touched them with anything so I had to pry that off that was a nightmare and um, these are all mated I'm just getting the last coat of paint on hopefully it stays dry today it's not forecasting so I've got some spawning action going on there and I'll chase in that big white one see I've just turned the air right down just so you can see what I've done. So basically all the stuff, oh, what a dick. <laughs> all the stuff out of my, um, some floating pumice there, it's weird. All the stuff out of the filter box, which is now over there, is just in the pond near an air pump and the actual pump, the new one, the 15,000 litre an hour one. Big fat mess there, innit? It's getting really bothered to drop its eggs. Um, but yeah, so they're uh, all around that. So all the water in the, the pond is getting sucked into this area. So in reality, um, that should all be fine. But yeah, the water, I mean, it was murky as hell yesterday because I was riving it about all over, but it seems to have gone okay today. I moved my air stone a bit because it's under that specific bag. <laughs> oh, are they coming this way? No, of course they're not. Oh yeah, well, there you are. He's trying to get air to spawn. 
she's took a couple of knocks while she's been getting bullied because there aren't just been him, there's been loads of them. My pump is just over here. I'm sort of just waiting now with a brick. And, uh, it's doing some serious damage. <laughs> she's got a bag on it just to try and clear the water up a bit and it works because it's all nice and clear at all. See the bottom row nice. Bit of weed down there. But yeah, so it's underway. Look, that, that's got its new control on. This is making a bit of a noise. Me air pump, but it's just under a bucket, so what do you expect? And uh, there we are. Just a quick update on that. Just waiting for them to dry. Gonna give them another coat if it stays dry, and then we're done. And we're away. Right, chaps. I don't know if you can see how it's sunny as all balls. But what I'm doing is, that's got Japanese matting down that side. The Pongaroo's also going to have to send me a sheet of this. I already buy it in rolls, but it's always good. So, until I get my sieve thing sorted, I'm just going to put a bit of that on top. This is what's in it, so it's uh, pumice. Standard, good quality pumice. And it's it, it's got the Biowarm Maxi, but you can see that on other videos. And it's got these things, which is the Biowarm Shower Filler, which is the same stuff. Just in balls. Really cool. So yeah, this one's got a good amount of that stuff in. I ain't, the only thing is I ain't actually got any of the uh, alpha grogging because it won't fit. Because I say I've put a, the, the bottom one is full with really good quality media. Alpha grog's good quality media, just in as good as the stuff I'm putting in. So alpha grog works fine. I say my water's making out because I've obviously been taking stuff out of there and stirring it up. So, but yeah, so what I'm going to do, yeah, old fella, is keep this in for now. I'd say some of it's seeded what's in there anyway. Some of the uh, balls and um, some of the bio one balls and the pumice has already been in the other filter. So, but I'm going to keep it in just in this corner near the filter. So water will be getting sucked through it and the same with the air stone, it'll be moved a bit further that way and just keep it in and then every couple of weeks I'm just going to remove one bag of that and leave it another couple of weeks so that the, the media gets a better chance to mature in there with mature media in but sooner or later that will all be out and we're away so yeah I'm happy with that right. right so it's early evening it's all running nice I'll show you I'll turn that air off in a sec so you can see how clear the water is in a sec I'll do it now <laughs> That'll uh, sort itself out in a couple of seconds, just last few bubbles coming through. But as you can hopefully see, you should be able to see pretty well how clear the water is now. we be getting bullied again today, not bullied, just spawning you know, no more. So, but yeah, they're four foot down. <laughs> so you got all that. Uh, you can read the words apart from the muck on it. Um, yeah, it's all going pretty well. The fish are all under at that end, so it's <laughs> There's still a bit of bubbly coming out of there, but it's all going well. I'm very happy with the way it's going so far. Over there. But I'll just go and have a look in here and show you what I've done for now. Because I messed up so much and put so much muck into the thing by staring it up a couple of times. I basically got this set. So I've got some of that in the comic muck that's quite a one. And then recently I've just put this in which is like a a filter sock thing, but I, well, my brother's missus cut it. So I can just uh, swing it in and out. It's big enough that it just sort of goes around it. And uh, yeah, I've cleaned it once just out of curiosity and how much muck I'd have in it. But it's just catching bits, you know what I mean? So, you can see. Surprisingly, it gets through like your pressure filter, you know, them sponges. But it's running well. So, look like how dirty that is. But I think that's 400 micron, this. So, it's all good. 
Let's put it back how it actually was, not, not ruin it. <laughs> right. Really, yeah, sorry about this, it's just messing about now. So, that's it, and that's my floor. So that's on, it's got 15,000 litre an hour on it. Cheeky shub and a comet over there. I can't see because of glare. But uh, yeah, I mean, my only issue is now, I say I've, I've got to wait for the boards. I can't get the log lap that's going to, you know, sort that out to box that in. And I ain't got it anywhere the beds can really get in to have a drink anymore and, and a bath. So I'm going to build a, a little, I'm going to get a calf barrel to put it down here, maybe on the side of the deck. Only a shallowish one. Fill it up with like filter media and stuff, and have it so a little solar fountain in it to circulate the water about in it for the birds. And uh, then just a couple more lids because, as you can see, that one's just rested because it used to fit on a little square. And uh, yeah, it's going well. But yeah, they've been spawning, especially that big female. There. So yeah. It's all gone well, solid as a rock, no leaks, so I am going to have to disconnect these pipes because I am going to, well, I'm going to shorten that. I just banged it in because I thought, well, if it leaks, then I want to be able to, you know, if it didn't work, I wanted to be able to put it back in, but it has, so I'll cut the pipe about there so it just goes straight around and into it. I've got some of that um, metal strapping stuff you know, to strap that up so it holds it. And I've got a new air pump. So, I've got all the electrics to redo because look at that nest. But it's all temporary. So, anyway. A nice clean clear pond.